Custom Made from Pinterest. I'm Crystal and today we're making parfaits. They're good. They're like a good healthy-ish snack. You know, this is optional but it makes it so much better. But anyways, let's get started. So, we have strawberries, we have some blueberries, we have some Cool Whip strawberry yogurt and some granola. So, obviously, very simple ingredients. So what you want to do is you want to get your yogurt and you want to put it into a bowl Oops. like that. So how much? I said like two spoonfuls, but we need more than that. So let's count them. Three, four, I would say like five, like five spoonfuls. We got a little mess, but that's okay. So. We have about five spoonfuls of yogurt, but we can add more later if we need to. And then we're gonna do about one, two, three healthy dollops of the Cool Whip. And then you're gonna get a spoon and you're gonna mix it together. This is so easy and it's a really good um, snack, especially for maybe the weekends or even a quick breakfast during the weekdays, and your kids will totally love it because it has the cool whip in it. So if you have kids, this is kid friendly. Mom tested, kid approved. It's probably good. So about half a container or eight scoops of yogurt and about three scoops of cool whip, and it just looks like this. So the yogurt's no longer pink, it's more of a pastel color. It's like a tinted color. So that was the hardest part. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your container, your glass, whatever you're using, you're gonna layer it. So you're gonna start with some yogurt, well with our yogurt mixture, and then you're gonna just add some blueberries. And you can use whatever fruit you like. If you really like peaches or apples or anything like that, you can actually choose whatever fruit you want. I would just say try not to choose anything too um, juicy, especially if you're going to be saving them for another day because these actually store very well. You can keep them in the fridge for a couple of days and then you have your snacks, a healthier snack that you can come back to later in the week. But if the fruit's too juicy, then it's going to be all like, you know, soggy and nasty and like wet or whatever. So just keep layering like so. Spread your fruit out. And you're gonna notice I'm not putting the granola in yet and that's because you don't want your nuts to get soggy. So I know I'm not gonna be necessarily eating these right away. If I was gonna eat them right away, like if I was making it for breakfast on the way out the door, then I would go ahead and I would layer my granola in between all the way. But if you put the granola in and you refrigerate it and you save it for later, then your granola is gonna get soggy and it's gonna be nasty. I've made that mistake before. The granola adds such a nice crunch so you want to make sure that you're maintaining that crunch. So if you're going to eat it right away, you can go ahead and put the granola. But if not, like me, and you're saving it for later, then you want to wait and add the granola last, like I'm about to do. So you can just grab a spoon, or whatever, you know, and you just sprinkle it on top. You have a healthy-ish snack. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill my other container. So, now that you have your yummy treats, if you wanna eat them right away, you definitely can, but if you can hold off for about 10 minutes, 
They're even better if you let them chill just slightly in the refrigerator. So that's what I'm going to do with mine. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you'd like to see me make next.